Hi, I'm Terry from Vancouver, Canada, and I'm going to be doing a very short um, introductory lesson on diamond painting. I have done a couple of reviews and some of my friends have wanted to know exactly what is a diamond painting. So I've already gotten a little bit started so I can show you what the first steps are. So your painting comes like this and it is covered and you get resins that are various colors and the packages are clearly marked with the numbers. The numbers correspond to the legend at the side of the painting. So I'm going to be doing the watercolor that I uh, had reviewed earlier. So the, I have 30 colors in this painting. So I've got little containers from the dollar store and I've gone ahead, I reuse these over and over, so I've labeled them with the numbers that correspond with the resins, with the diamonds. So I've already gone ahead and done uh, 310 which is black which on the legend is M. Right, right there. So you get this um, container and you get wax and you get a pen. Now this is very tacky, so you don't want to be working with uh, woolly sweaters um, because the sides are tacky a little bit as well just a few millimeters, not the whole thing. But as you're going along, your sweater will get on there and you get little fluffs every now and then. So don't unwrap your whole picture as you're going along. I'm fortunate because I have a glass dining room table and I have a light shining up underneath. So it very much illuminates my project. Otherwise, it would be kind of dark. So you have this pen that it comes with and it has a center in the bottom where you dip it into the wax and you don't have to put a lot in there and this just helps you pick up the resins so I've gone ahead and I put some in my container and they are round on the top and flat on the bottom and I am have started already so I'm doing the M's because the M is what corresponds to the 310 black. I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple and you can see how it goes. If you put a wrong one on, it's very easy to get off. Just use your nail or some tweezers and you can slide them around as well. So I like to do um, one number at a time in a series. In a, in a block of color here. Um, some people like to do um, a line of colors. Whoopsie, there were two attached. It's hard to do this holding the camera. Bear with me. There we go, just gonna straighten them out a bit. So that's how you do diamond painting. They do have some for children. I haven't seen them, but I'm assuming that they would be a larger um, area of one color to do. I don't think the resins would be any larger though. So this is what I do in the evenings. And as soon as you feel that you can't pick up any more little resins then you just uh, put a little bit more wax in the bottom of your pan which you don't do very often at all. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off my bags of resins and when I'm done this picture in a few weeks I'll show you what it looks like. So this is Terry. Thanks for watching.